Today, looking at an updated audio interface from Rode that will easily allow you to record pretty much any two microphones in to a mobile device or a computer. I'm a big fan of the Rode SC6L, which was the previous version, and I did a previous review video covering that. And now today we'll look at the new and improved version called the Rode AI Micro. All right, just gonna quickly look what's inside the box. Here's the actual AI Micro. And it is small. The nice thing about this new unit compared to the SC6L is this comes with different cables. That way you have the ability to use it with an iPhone or an iPad, an Android, or even a computer. So again, it comes with a USB-A cable for a computer, USB-C for Android or iPad, and then a lightning cable. And they all just plug in directly via USB-C to the AI Micro. So that makes it a very versatile device and not only can you use this for recording interviews, having two channels of audio coming into your phone, but with this device, you can also plug it into your computer to do live streaming, whether that's USB-C or with USB-A. And you could also use the various Rode apps, including their podcasting app, to record multiple microphones directly into your computer. And it has a headphone jack for monitoring and listening to playback. Now here is the SC6L. So I just wanted to compare these real quickly. They are pretty, well, they are exactly the same size. So if you own the SC6L, then you would feel no difference physically with this actual device. It would fit onto your camera rig or however you have it mounted the exact same way. The main difference is, again, this cable was a lightning cable and it was permanently attached. Now you can put whatever you want. That's lightning. USB-C. And USB-A. And the nice thing is these cables pop in there and they have a nice click. See if you can hear this. So they're in there securely. They're not gonna pull out. I'm putting a decent amount of tension on that and it's not coming out. So when you attach two microphones here, if they're hanging off and this is connected to, well, in this case, it would be a computer, but if you're using the lightning cable, yeah, that clicks in there nice and secure. And so this would not be a worry of mine having this hanging off a rig and then having two microphones and even headphones connected. This will live securely on any setup. One difference you will right away notice is this cable. This is the lightning on the AI Micro and this is the built-in cable on the SC6L. This cable is about twice as long. And so that is nice depending on your setup. This could always be just a little bit limiting, especially if you were trying to rig this on top of your camera setup. And so that is a nice new feature with this and all the cables, this is the USB-A and this is the USB-C. They're all the same length. That's probably what, 10 inches or so. And so I think that's a nice improvement. All right, as it relates to mobile video or mobile filmmaking, whether you're doing mobile journalism or corporate video, or maybe a documentary, and you wanna record two microphones, this would be a typical setup that I might use. I'm running a 13 Pro Max. This is Filmic Pro. I'm using a B-Script Pro, and I have a Beast Handle, and then I have a small rig tripod. So it's a little bit of a Frankenstein rig, but this is a pretty common setup that I like to use for doing any type of production, truth be told. If you were doing an interview, you could set this on a table, or you could, of course, put this onto a traditional taller tripod, again, depending on the situation you're shooting in. And so I've got the Rode AI Micro, and I'll plug this into the lightning port. And so right now, if you look at the meters, there are no audio levels going into the phone because I don't have anything plugged in yet to the Rode AI Micro. So here is a Rode Video Micro just a small shotgun mic. I'll put it on top. 
And this particular mic has a TRRS connection. It's designed for mobile devices. It's got three lines on it. And so traditionally, I would use a lightning adapter to get into my phone. But in this case, because I have this interface, I don't need it. And so I'll put this on channel two. Now instantly you'll see in Filmic Pro, the right channel, channel two, I'm now getting a signal from that microphone. So that is one of the main cool features of this is you can send split track audio into a mobile device. Now on channel one, I'm going to use a Rode Wireless Go 2. Now the Rode Wireless Go 2 I'm using actually has a TRS connection that has two lines on it. And this is designed for traditional cameras, mirrorless cameras, any kind of camera, but not phones. And so the nice thing about the AI Micro is it auto detects, you no longer need an adapter. And so that's a TRS going in there. Now I'll grab the actual transmitter, the microphone part. Now that's on and voila, I now have two channels of audio, discrete channels. So here's channel one. You can see the meters popping. And here's channel two. And if I wanted to, now I've got these two microphones going into the iPhone. I could plug in a set of headphones and monitor what I'm recording. A couple notes, if you're using the Rode Wireless Go 2 mics by themselves, you wouldn't need to use this new AI Micro. With the Rode Wireless Go 2, you can use their proprietary USB-C cable, go directly into your phone and get split track audio. But that only works with the two wireless mics. You couldn't do that in combination with a shotgun mic. The other thing to note is that now with this device, since it will do TRS or TRRS, you can use pretty much any kind of 3.5 millimeter microphone. Doesn't have to be from Rode. I have several DD mics, et cetera, that I've had trouble connecting to phones, but now with this, they work no problem. Or with an adapter like this, you could use an XLR microphone. I have a Rode NTG4 Plus here, and it's battery powered. And so you would have to be able to send power to this mic. And so a battery powered mic or a mic with a battery in it would be the only way this would work. But then you plug this in to the AI micro and you will have XLR audio into your iPhone. And so for example, you could have your XLR mic on a boom pole, and then you could have your shotgun mic, your Rode video micro on your camera, and you could even turn that around, or you could be using a lav mic, and that way you could record an interviewee and then the interviewer. And so in what I do, this is probably the number one way I'll use the AI micro on a phone, but it really has a lot more functionality than just that. You can connect it to your computer to do live streaming, or to do podcasting using the Rode Connect app. That's a free app, by the way. Pretty powerful way to record a podcast. Or you could, of course, just use your phone and connect two mics that way to record a podcast. I have a podcast and I do all my recording directly into my phone. I don't do many in-person interviews as I typically do it over the phone or over the internet. But in those situations, using, again, your phone, your iPad, or your computer, and the Rode AI Micro is a great way to get two signals into one device without having to use any type of external mixer. So if you use your phone for media creation in really any capacity, I think this is a no-brainer to pick up. I highly recommended the SC6L, and now the AI Micro just takes it a step further because again, it works with iPhones, iPads, Androids, Macs, and PC computers. And if you're brand new to recording audio with a mobile device, you might consider enrolling in my course, Smartphone Audio Production 101. I also have courses on cinematography, color grading, and a dedicated course to learn Filmic Pro. Links for all these are in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.